Hey everybody, I am Jamie Berry, and if you're watching this, then you are enrolled in my online college algebra class. So um, I wanted to make a quick video. I want to go over the syllabus with you, and then I'm going to show you how you're going to complete homework, how you're going to complete tests, um, and what to expect throughout the course. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around, and we'll get started. <clears throat> Okay, so here's our course homepage. I'm going to switch to student view. This is what you'll see whenever you click on our D2L class. Um, I have a little welcome graphic here. It just tells you just a quick overview of how we complete homework, how we complete exams. Um, everything in this course is accessible through D2L. You never need to go to another website other than D2L to access anything for this course. That includes homework exams. Um, where you turn in, you know, things for extra credit. Um, everything's accessible through D2L. And these are my kids, um, Jude and Rachel. Um, and let me show you an overview of how I have the course set up. So if you click on content up here, then you're going to see the units here on the left. Um, we have unit zero, which is just a course introduction right here. Let's click on that. Um, so things to read, view and do, read through the course syllabus, view the course schedule. I would definitely print this out if I was you, um, maybe, you know, tape it to your, um, like the mirror in your bathroom, um, just, you know, somewhere where you're gonna look at it every day. Or you could, you know, if you have a desk, you could tape it up over your desk or stick it in the front of your folder, just somewhere where you're gonna be glancing at it often. And that way you, you are, you know, visually seeing when things are due um, frequently. So, and things to do, you should sign into Hawks. Um, Hawks Learning is the homework platform that we use in this class. If you have purchased an access code for Hawks in the past for college algebra, then you do not need to repurchase another access code. You have lifetime access whenever you purchase your um, your access code from Hawks and this access code that you purchased for this class will also work for trigonometry. So um, the natural next math course that most people take, especially if you're a science major, after this course is trigonometry and we use the same book. So you won't have to repurchase another access code. Um, you can get the access code to Hawks um, in one of two places, you can purchase it directly through Hawks. Um, and you can purchase that just by clicking on this link and it'll give you an option to purchase it. Um, or you can purchase the access code through the bookstore. It's a little bit more expensive through the bookstore, but you can use your Find and Joyed. So just to show you what it looks like when you click on this, um, it's gonna look a little bit different for me because it knows I'm the instructor. Um, it'll have you type in some information Whenever you click on that link, it'll give you an op option to purchase the access code. Now, I have this set where it's opening in the same window, but probably what I'll do after this video is I'll go in here and set this to open in a separate tab. That way it's just not so small. Um, but this will open up and show you a um, an overview of what we have due today, what's due later. You can click on any of the assignments through here. Um, but once you've clicked on this link, to sign into Hawks, that sort of activates your account and you no longer need to use this particular link to sign into Hawks. I have all of the assignments deep linked in the units. So you only need to click on this link once. And then from then on, you can just go to whatever unit we're working on, click on unit one homework or whatever unit it is. And then you can click on the assignments individually. You can see it opens in a separate window and then we've got this learn practice certify thing. All right, and I'll talk more about this learn practice certify in a little bit whenever we start going through the syllabus, but I just wanted to show you how you access the homework really quickly before we get started in the syllabus. All right, so back to the table of contents. Um, let's take a look at the syllabus real quick. I'm just gonna hit the little down arrow here and hit download. And let's go through the syllabus. Um, I'm not going to read it to you word for word because I know you can read. Um, actually, sorry, that's opening up my um, 
the syllabus for the face to face class. So let me pull up the online syllabus real quick. All right, here we go. All right, so here is our syllabus. This course is online. Everything is administered entirely online. Here we have my office number. I'm in Jones 146 on the first floor. Um, this is my office telephone. Um, it is a landline, so you can't text this number, but you can call and leave me a voicemail um, and I can call you back. Um, it'll forward the voicemail or actually it'll forward all the car calls to my cell phone so I can answer you even outside of, you know, my normal office hours if it's an emergency. Um, if you're just wanting to ask a question about a topic maybe that we've covered and you need a little bit more help, it's probably best to email me. Um, this is my email, jberry. Make sure you're spelling berry with an I-E. At ccga.edu, here are my office hours. Um, office hours are not virtual. They're in person. Um, and you can meet with me by appointment. You can come in on Fridays if you need to talk with me, or we can meet um, through Teams virtually. So it's totally up to you. Um, my office hours are Monday 11 to 12, Tuesday 9 to 12, Wednesday 11 to 12, and then Thursday 9 to 12, and then Fridays by appointment. And I will always try to return your call or email within 24 hours on the weekday and then 48 hours on the weekend. All right, so basic information. We've got prerequisites and course description. I'll let you read through those on your own. Um, an important note here, you cannot receive credit for both um, college algebra and pre-calculus. So if you do need another math class after this and you're a science major, um, you'll want to take trigonometry after this, which is math 1112. All right, so want to take trigonometry after this course. We've got our course learning outcomes here. I'll let you read through those on your own. I'm um, just scrolling through here. Important for us is distance learning outcome or excuse me, distance learning requirements. Um, you're expected to check D2L on a daily basis. That's really important for all your classes, but especially for online classes. Assignments, announcements, resources, quizzes, exams, everything is posted in D2L. Um, I recommend using Google Chrome. That's what I use and um, I, I rarely have any issues. Um, you know, of course, their D2L every once in a while will go down um, and have some issues. If that ever happens, I will, you know, postpone due dates if necessary. So don't stress if, if uh, D2L is down. I will send you an email and, um, you know, you'll be able to get any work that's due extended. All right, so overview of online course activities. I'm expecting you to complete what's called the certify assignments on Hawks Learning System for credit for the homework. Um, so we were just looking at the homework here. Let's pull it back up. So you have three little apps here, learn, practice, and certify. This is what you're getting credit for here, the certify portion. So the practice is just what it says. It's just for practice. It looks very similar to certify. It's not exactly the same. It'll have different numbers. But what you're getting credit for is certify. All right, so let's jump back to the syllabus. Um, exams and other assignments will be completed on D2L. And the final exam will be, it says administer face to face. It'll actually be administered online. Um, I'm going to put up a discussion board so that you can post um, questions. And that way you can post anonymously. Please feel free to also um, email me if you have a question. But sometimes people prefer to post anonymously. so. Um, I can put up a discussion board so you have that capability. Um, I will always respond to the, the discussion post that you have as soon as I see it. Um, I usually check them every morning. Um, and like I said, you're welcome to email me. Um, we use D2L for all courses at, here at the college. Um, and like I said, I recommend using Google Chrome. All right, so important for us is this Respondus Lockdown Browser. So Respondus Lockdown Browser is a custom browser that you'll have to download on your computer um, that locks down your testing environment within D2L. So the whole purpose of using Respondus Lockdown Browser is it ensures me that you are not opening any separate tabs during the exam. So that way I know that you're not Googling the question or, you know, searching so, you know about topics that are that are relevant to the assignment that you're completing. It, it basically just assures me that you're not cheating. 
An important note is that Google Chromebooks are not compatible with Respondents Lockdown Browser. You can request a laptop from Tech Services. I have a hyperlink here to the form that you can click to request a laptop. Um, but make sure if you do want to request one of those, go ahead and, and start that process because those will um, those will go fast. And additionally, if you don't want to request a laptop, maybe if you are, um, you know, oh, you don't live near the college, maybe, um, you know, you're you're not somewhere where it's convenient for you to come by and grab a laptop. Um, you can, you know, use a library computer um, at a public library, um, or you can, you know, see if you can borrow a computer. But you can also use the um, the computers in the library here at the college. So those all have Respondus already downloaded on them. Uh, next, we have Respondus Monitor. That's a companion product to Lockdown Browser, and it requires a webcam. So it's going to turn the webcam on, and it's just going to, um, you know, look and see if there's anyone behind you that's maybe feeding you answers. Um, it's going to record your voice. It's going to make sure that there's no one there talking to you during the exam. Now, I totally understand that, you know, things might happen that are outside of your control. Maybe you you have, you know, siblings or kids that are in the background and they're talking. That's totally fine. That's not what I'm monitoring for here. I'm just trying to make sure, you know, use all of the, the resources that I have to make sure that you're not cheating. Since this is an online class and everything is completed, um, you know, online. So since I'm not there to monitor you in person, that's why we're using Respondus Monitor. Um, you have to have a webcam for this to work. So if you don't have a webcam on your computer, you'll want to go um, and purchase one of those, maybe through Amazon or at Walmart or somewhere similar. Um, then we have technical support information. I have hyperlinks and phone numbers and email addresses for if you have issues with D2L or with Hawks or with technical issues that are not related to D2L or Hawks, like maybe you've forgotten your password. Um, so all of this is really good information just in case anything happens and you are, maybe you're locked out of D2L, you can't figure something out in Hawks. Um, now this is not like for tutoring type of help with Hawks. This is for technical issues with Hawks. And Hawks is really great. Um, they have 24 seven live chat support. I use it all the time. And um, if you click this link here and then you type in your information, you type in your question, someone will immediately respond to you. There is no wait time. Um, and they will help you get the get the problem solved really quickly. So that's nice. All right, so course access, everything's accessible through D2L. Uh, we have an external platform called Hawks Learning, but is synced and accessible through D2L. So you never need to go to another website to um, access anything with our course. Um, there are some distance learning student resources through the Attic and the Writing Center. You can click these links here to um, find instructions for how to connect with tutors. And you also have 24 seven access to tutor.com um, by clicking the link at the top of the D2L homepage. So let me show you where that is. If you go to D2L, you gotta go all the way to the D2L homepage and you can see it's right there, tutor.com. And there's also a link for the attic there as well. All right, so let's see. If you have any issues with D2L, um, you can send me um, an email, let me know. And whenever service is restored, I can extend assignments, due dates, um, and things like that. So don't stress if your D2L goes down or, or something happens and um, you feel like you're going to miss a deadline. All right, so let's talk about Hawks. We are currently using Hawks course software and ebook for this course. Um, it has lifetime access, so that means even if, say, you ended up dropping this class during the semester and you maybe wanted to take it next semester, um, you will still have access to all of the course software. You wouldn't have to repurchase the access code. You can either purchase access through the bookstore or through Hawks Learning. Um, please do not go through any other third-party sites because they will sell you access codes that do not work. Um, and then I have um, all the assignments embedded in each of the units. The name of our book is called Precalculus. Um, there is, let's look at the bookstore real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. 
whenever you go to purchase it. CCGA Bookstore. Sorry, I can type. All right, so we're going to find course materials. It is the spring term math 1111. And this is the section 20351, I believe. OK, and there we go. There is your required materials. You just hit add to cart and you can purchase it from here. Now, it's $97.14 if you purchase it through the bookstore. I believe it's $85 if you purchase it through Hawks. Um, and but you can't like I said, you can't use your um, financial aid if you purchase it through Hawks. All right. So let's go back to the syllabus real quick. Um, you are required to purchase a graphing calculator for this course, or not purchase, but you're required to have a graphing calculator for this course. Um, you cannot use the calculator on your phone, laptop, or any other higher functioning device during a test. Um, Lockdown Browser will actually provide you with the calculator during the test, but it's not going to have graphing cap capabilities. It's just a regular old scientific calculator. I would recommend purchasing either or using either the TI-83 Plus or the TI-84. I'm going to be using a TI-84 in all of the videos that I post. Um, so like I said, that's what I recommend. That way you can easily follow along. Now, you could definitely purchase a cheaper option through something like Casio. Um, those are perfectly good graphing calculators. I just have never used one and I can't tell you the directions. But when I can, I will find videos to tell you how to um, you know, this, have a little tutorial on how to complete anything we're doing in the Casio calculator. Um, of course, you need normal school resources like paper, um, writing implements, and then since this is an online class, you must have access to a reliable internet connection. Here are our um, course policies. Our grading scale is just a standard grading scale, A, B, C, D, F. And then here are our methods of evaluation. Homework is worth 25%, unit exams are worth 50%, and then the final exam is worth 25%. All right, so here is the late homework penalty. Um, late homework assignments, of course, I would love it if you completed all of the assignments on time in Hawks, but I know that sometimes things come up and you may miss the due date. The late penalty for homework in this class is if it's one day late, it'll give you a 10% penalty. Two days late, a 20% penalty, and more than two days late, it's going to give you a 30% penalty. Um, I cannot give you extensions for exams. Late exams will not be accepted. However, the final exam will replace your lowest exam grade, including a missed exam, as long as it benefits you. Now, this policy does not apply to cases where I have to give you a zero due to, due to an academic integrity violation. Um, so that means if I catch you cheating on an exam and you get a zero, then I will not replace that zero with your final exam grade. All right, so let's talk about this really quickly. Let's say that you accidentally missed the third exam. Um, you just it completely slips your mind and, and you don't end up doing the exam. So you would have a zero for that test. Now, at the very end of the semester, after you take the final exam, I will replace that zero with whatever you make on the final exam. And that way, that zero will effectively go away. Um, here's just a brief overview of what academic integrity is considered here at the college and what academic dishonesty includes. So please read over that on your own. Um, this is an online course, so we don't have a, co a course attendance policy, but I am expecting you to keep up with information or activities or exams that I'm posting in D2O. Exams will be administered online and you have to use lockdown browser with monitor, which means you need a webcam. Um, so let's talk about the test real quick. You are allowed two attempts on each exam. And the main purpose of this um, is to allow for circumstances of poor internet connection. So if you log in to take a test and maybe your internet disconnects and you're unable to complete the test, you have one more chance to correct the issue. But make sure you find a better, more reliable internet connection. Um, and once you do, you can take your second attempt at the test. Each exam will be administered or available during a 72 hour window like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You will be given 90 minutes for each exam and you have to complete the exam in a single session. So you can't close the exam out and then return to that first attempt later. So you have to take it all in one sitting. 
And like I said before, there are no extensions of own of uh, exam windows. Um, when you're using Respondus Lockdown Browser and Monitor, you will have to go through an environment check. So you're going to pan your screen slowly or your webcam slowly around the room. That's going to make sure that I, I know that there's no one behind you feeding you answers um, or that you don't have, you know, the answers written somewhere behind you. Um, you... I should not see you using a cell phone or another person or other electronic device during a test. Um, you're expected to be alone in the exam room for the entirety of the exam. But like I said, I understand sometimes things happen. You might have someone come in the room briefly. Um, maybe you you have kids or you have siblings or your parents. Um, that's fine, you know, but please let them know, hey, I'm taking the exam. Um, I'm supposed to be alone in here during the exam, if you don't mind. Um, you're expected to remain in the exam room um, until your exam is complete. That means don't leave to go to the bathroom during the exam. Um, you should have your entire head visible to the camera at all times. That shouldn't be difficult if you're, if you have your computer set up on a desk or something. Um, I see a lot of people taking their exams like on their bed. Um, that's totally fine. Just make sure you have your laptop screen tilted so that I can see your face. Uh, microphone should be on. You're not allowed to post, email, or discuss quiz questions or exam questions with other students um, or other people in general during the exam window. This is considered academic dishonesty and may result in a zero on the exam. And if you do have technical difficulties, please contact me immediately and let me know so that I can try to fix it. The final exam is cumulative and it says it may consist of multiple choice questions, short answer questions, and show your work style, but I typically just do all multiple choice questions for the final. All right, so in the electronics policy, um, we're not face-to-face, -face, so we don't have to worry about this. All right, so then we have other course policies. If you, um, when we get to the end of the semester, I'll remind you about the course evaluations. I really appreciate that if you give me some feedback at the end of the semester. We have college-wide policies that you can view by clicking on this hyperlink. Um, if you want to withdraw from the course, um, which is different from dropping the class. You know, you have a few days at the beginning of the semester to drop the class, but if you want to withdraw, make sure you do it before midterm. That way you can receive a W instead of a WF. W means withdrawal, WF means withdrawal fail. So make sure that you withdraw before midterm. And then we have a chain of command for communication. If you have an issue with the class, please contact me first. If we can't resolve it, then you will contact my direct supervisor, which is the department chair in the Department of Math and Computer and Data Science, excuse me. If you can't resolve it with my supervisor, then we'll move on to the dean. Then we'll move on to um, the provost or the vice president of academic affairs. And then lastly, the president. So please follow the chain of command. That way we can get your problem resolved quickly. And then services for students with disabilities. If you self-identify with a disability, um, qualified students with documented disabilities can receive accommodations um, by contacting disability services. Here's their phone number. Um, and they will communicate with me about what accommodations you receive. So you never have to directly email me and discuss your disability or your accommodations with me. They will um, arrange all of it. All right, and then we have a reserve clause in case I need to change this syllabus. I will let you know. And then we have just hyperlinks for the full hyperlinks, um, or excuse me, full URLs for those hyperlinks I had above. Okay, that was a lot of talking. So let me just quickly go through the homework with you, and I'm going to show you um, how the homework works because it's a little different than a traditional um, homework platform. All right, so learn, practice, certify. Every assignment is going to have this set up, learn, practice, certify. So um, you can click on our name, pre-calculus there. If you click on another assignment, it's going to be the same thing, learn, practice, certify. So learn is going to be basically the textbook. Um, you'll click through here. You can click watch to watch a little short video all about the section. Um, you can click through here. It's going to basically have information just like a textbook, but it will also have videos embedded within. Um, once you have gone through the learn portion, um, you can go through practice. This is going to give you some practice questions. You can use the tutor option here. 
gives you options to view a step-by-step -step solution, um, gives you options to go to the textbook, and it also will give you an option to look at the full solution. If you do look at the full solution, when you go back to practice, it's going to give you new numbers. We have a, a math keypad here, so if you click on that, it's going to pull up a little keypad with all of our math notation that we might be using in this course. We have exponents, subscripts, fractions, square roots, other radicals, and then we have this little um, prime symbol. We've got parentheses, brackets, curly braces, absolute values, all kinds of stuff. So um, the only bad thing about this keypad is that it makes it kind of hard to do the homework in your phone. Um, it really works best if you do this on a computer because um, when you open this up on your phone, this keypad is hard to navigate um, just since it pops up in a separate window. Okay, so now let's talk about Certify. Certify here, you can see it's got this mastery level indicated on it. This one has a mastery level of 77%. Um, that means that once you have mastered 77% of the material in this section, it's going to give you a 100 for this assignment. So um, master 77% of the material, get a 100. Now the mastery level is not the same for all assignments. Um, it's, it's different usually for all assignments, but it's typically somewhere between um, 60 and 80%. So whenever you click on certify, you'll see it looks very similar. Still have this little keypad here, but we no longer have the tutor option. Right, so we don't have those help features that we had during practice. And then you can also see that it gives you three lives here. Once you've used up your three lives, it's going to make you restart this assignment. So you want to, you know, answer carefully. Basically, um, you know, don't just be trying random answers. Make sure you feel confident in your answer before you type it in. Um, Hawks is also pretty smart. So you can see this is an absolute value inequality and it's using the variable Z. So if I use a different variable, say I try to type in an X, it's going to tell me this character is not required in your answer. Please try again. So it's not going to let you type in the wrong variable, which is nice. Um, and let's see. See if there's anything else I wanted to tell you. I wanted to show you just the different mastery levels. So for 1.2, you can see it's 75 percent. Let's scroll down and look at a later section. Um, 5.1, 67 percent. So every one of the mastery levels is different. But like I said, once you hit this mastery level, it's not going to require you to do any more problems in Certify, and it's going to send it to my gradebook and tell me that you made a 100 on this assignment. All right, and then the last thing I wanted to show you is up here at the very top, you can see um, this tab that says ebook. Oh, I never use the discussion tab here. Um, if I do discussions, it's through D2L. Um, but you can see this ebook tab. If you click on that, let's see, must have been in a separate window. No, that, this is right. Okay. If you click on ebooks, ebooks, and it gives me a lot of options for books here. It's just going to give you one. If you click on our book, you can go through each chapter. Um, and then one place I always try to remember to tell people to look is if you go to the very end of the chapter, you can see I'm over here on the left hand side of the screen. If you go to chapter one review exercises, um, a lot of times this is where I'll get ideas for test questions. Um, so always look in here if you want to if you want to see some extra practice problems. All right. And also, if you look down here at the bottom on the left hand side of the screen, if you go to answer key, it's going to give you the answers to all the odd numbered problems in these sections. So if you want extra practice, you can look there for the answers. All right, so that is a brief overview of our course. I'm sorry, I, I say brief uh, relatively. I tried to go through it as fast as I could. Um, every Monday, I will post an announcement where I tell you what we have going on that week, what I'm expecting you to cover, um, and I will tell you what resources I have available. So you can see if you go to unit one and then click on the section that we're working in, um, it'll give you the guided notes. This, these are notes made by me. Um, and then I will also have a video for each section. You can see this one's in two parts. Um, if you click on it, it'll open it up in YouTube. Um, 
Let me just go through this ad and show you. I can't believe I have an ad on my video. I'm not making any money off of this, so I'm not really sure why I have an ad. But um, this video will cover those guided notes that I just posted. So it'll directly correlate to the, those guided notes. Um, and that way it kind of feels like you have the same experience as if this was an, a face-to-face -face class. And then if I have any additional videos, I'll post them within the section. Like here you can see, I have an extra video helping you with simplifying radicals. Um, but yeah, I have lecture videos for every section. Um, that way you don't have to stress about covering this on your own. Let me switch back over to student view. All right, so you, like I said, you don't have to stress about covering this on your own. Everything's built in right here for you. Um, and this is the same way for every section, or excuse me, for every unit. Um, if you scroll down here, you can see the unit one homework is all linked in one place. And then I have a unit one exam. I've got a practice exam for you. And if you complete this and turn in your work, you can go to assignments and then Dropbox and you can turn in your work here in the Dropbox to receive five bonus points on the test. So you can just upload pictures of your work to get those bonus points. And we'll do that for every exam. So you always have opportunities to earn bonus points on my exams. And they, I'm not checking for um, everything to be correct. I'm just grading for completion for those bonus points. Okay, so hopefully now that I've gone through all this, you have a pretty good idea of how the course will be set up. But if you do have any additional questions, please reach out to me and ask, and I'm, I'm happy to explain anything um, that you have a question about. I'm really excited that you're in my class, and um, I hope we all have a great semester together. And please let me know if there's anything I can do to make your um, semester easier or clarify anything. Um, I'm always available through email um, and I'm happy to answer anything I can. All right. Thanks you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.